This is how to make this animated highlight effect, like box, in Premiere Pro. So first, move it to a point where you want to highlight the text. Now go to the toolbar and select the rectangle tool. And then go to the screen and create a rectangle above the text you want to highlight. And I'm going to show you how to highlight multiple layers in a second. Now with the shape layer selected, go to effects controls and expand the shape settings. Now click on the fill color and set the color to white and then click on OK. Now scroll all the way down to opacity and set the blend mode to difference. And we can now see this black highlight effect, which is the same one as box used in their animation. Now to highlight multiple lines, we can duplicate the shape layer by holding Alt or Option on Mac and then drag the layer up on track. And with the layer selected, go to Effects and Tools and then click on Shape 1. And then you can move the shape to the text you want to highlight and expand it as well. Now to make this highlight effect that Vox used, we need to go to Effects and search Crop. And then apply the effect to the first shape layer. And in effects controls, make sure that you're at the start of the clip. And then click on the crop effect. Now use the right handle and drag it to the left. So that the black shape is not visible anymore. And then click on the stopwatch next to right to create a keyframe. Then move forward a bit and then click on crop. And then drag the right handle to the right. So the box is visible again. And this will give us this animation. Now we need to repeat the step with the other shape layer as well. So apply the crop effect, click on the effect. And then drag the handle so the black box is invisible. And create a keyframe for the right value, move forward and reveal the black box again. And we now get this animation. And to speed it up or slow it down, you can move the keyframes closer or further away from each other. Fox also used a paper overlay to achieve this paper look. So to recreate this, we can use a paper PNG, which you can find in my Discord server with the link in the description. And then drag the paper PNG above the clips in the timeline. Now make sure the layer is selected and in the fix controls, set the blend mode to multiply. And we now get this paper look on our video. Now to recreate this slow that box used we need to create an adjustment layer so go to the project panel click on new item and select adjustment layer and then click on ok and then drag the layer above all the other ones now go to the effects panel and search transform and apply the effect to the adjustment layer and with that layer selected go to effects controls and make sure that you're at the start of the clip and then click on the stopwatch next to scale to create a keyframe and then move to the end of the layer and then increase the scale a bit and we've now created this slight zoom now to recreate the blur that box used when transitioning to the next clip we need to go to effects and then search Gaussian blur and then apply the effect to the adjustment layer. And with the layer selected, move to the cut between the first and the second clip. And then in effects controls, click on the stopwatch next to blurriness and then increase it to around 30. Now move back a bit and then reset the value by clicking on this reset icon. And then move in front of the second keyframe and then reset the value once again. And we have now created this blur effect. And for a final touch, you can see that the Vox animation is playing back at a really slow frame rate, which you can recreate by selecting Selecting all the clips in the timeline, then right click and select nest, and then click on OK. Now open the nested sequence by double clicking on it, and then go to the top left to sequence, and then select sequence settings. And you can now under time base, choose a low frame rate, such as 15 or 25, and then click on OK. And you can now go back to the original sequence by clicking on this tab. And we have now created this box highlight effect. To learn more about Premiere, click on the video on screen right now. Now see you there.